Hey Libra, thank you so much for coming to your monthly love reading. This is for September 2020. Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. So um, sometimes you have to flip it. Uh, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my website, aaftarot.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, Accurate AF Tarot. You follow me, I will follow you back. There will be an extended at the end of the reading where we go over everything about your partner. How do they feel? What do they want? What are they hiding? Their next actions and a bunch of other um, really, really good questions. So the link for that will be in the comment section below. With that being said, Libra, um, let's hop into your reading. Now, for, uh, for all the signs, I'm pulling a message. And it's crazy that you guys have this message, okay? It is 34, and it's the hummingbird spirit. So the hummingbird spirit says, be here now. Now, the one thing that I thought was really interesting is, okay, the hummingbird is always going, right? And it's funny because my dad is a Libra and I swear like his ass never sits still. Like he's always moving. He's always roaming around. My other brother, one of my brothers is a Libra too. Like they're always like moving constantly. And right now you're being told that, T like right now is an eternal time and, and, and it's timeless. Okay. And you're becoming the person that, um, you're becoming the person you really want. How do I explain this? Hold on. Let me take a step back. The person that you want right now is in front of you. Okay. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. And it's almost like you need to be present for it. And the thing about the hummingbird is, yeah, there's a lot of flowers that bloom. The hummingbird can go from flower to flower to flower. However, what the hummingbird is telling you guys right now is that you are with somebody or you're in a place right now where this is an amazing opportunity and you need to stop looking other places. And like you have no need to search anywhere else for something better because everything that you require or everything that you desire is in front of you. Okay. And, um, once you know this, because I think that sometimes like when it comes to Libras and I'm a Libra rising, so don't take this, please, please don't take this the wrong way, but it's like, we're always looking for the best thing, the next best thing. And this message is saying like, you're here at it right now and there's no need to look anywhere else. Okay. So I think that that's really cool. Um, be still, be here, be present in the moment and really enjoy what's going on. Focus on the person that you have today, just that one person. Okay. And I'm telling you, you're going to feel really, really good. Now, um, I haven't pulled your guys' cards yet, as you as you can see, but the energy that I'm getting is a very positive one. It's one where there's a level of action being taken, I feel like, and there's a decision that's being made where I feel like you right now know exactly what you want, especially when it comes to romance, and I feel like you're watching that person and you're very persistent, or this person is going to be very persistent with you. Okay. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for September 2020? Overall energy, look at this. The chariot, beautiful. Um, who is Libra dealing with romantically? Who is Libra dealing with romantically right now? Okay, the star. Some of you may be dealing with somebody that's at a distance, especially with the chariot and the star here. You also be dealing with a Cancer or an Aquarius. Um, how does, um, how does Libra feel about their person of interest romantically? Okay. Nine of wands reverse. Yes. Okay. So there's Sagittarius moon and Sag. What's the current, uh, situation between Libra and their person of interest? What's the current situation between these two? You know, look at this. Hello. He's looking all nice and lovely and look at him. He looks like a whole snack. Ooh. Hello, can I come in? That's what the hell I'm talking about. Sorry, Libra. You know, Libras like things that look nice. Like, I like things that look nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> that may be fucked up, but it's true. Um, all right, let's see. What's the best potential outcome here for Libra? What's the best potential outcome here for Libra? Woo, reconciliation. Ew, here we go. Okay, Leo's here. Um... 
this is this is turning out to be pretty pretty fire so let me clarify this and then i'll get into the reading okay what is the overall energy for love and romance okay you have lightning things are changing very very quickly i feel like for you um wh what is the, this person um what do you want me to tell them about this person okay one more time because i don't know if that was upright or not what do you want me to tell them about their person of interest romantically Libra's person of interest romantically. There's going to be a lot of clarity and a lot of truth that comes out. Um, you have the chaser here. And how does Libra feel about this person? How does Libra feel about this person? Twin flames. Libra, you feel very strongly about this person. And what is the current situation between these two? Current situation between these two romantically. Okay. For some of you guys... Um, that you're just starting out finding somebody. I feel like you guys are really getting to know one another and really starting to build some type of rapport and really enjoying it. For those of you guys that this has been kind of like a long-standing weird thing, you guys are definitely taking things to another level. And it's funny because again, your card is be here now. So there's something going on here I feel very strongly about somebody finally knowing what they want and taking a level of action on it. Let me see if I can make this straight. I apologize for those of you guys that are like, yo, I can't see. My bad, man. I can't see either because the ring light's here. Okay, YOLO, it is what it is. Um, All right, energy. Things are changing very, very quickly. You guys are having forward movement. I feel like you're moving towards a sense of stability. Your person may be from a different race or a different religion. There may be something here that's very unique about the two of you. However, I do feel like this is a time where there's a lot of um, harmony. And this is a very gentle type of energy. It's very nurturing. It's very emotional. It's I feel like um, for some of you guys, like I feel like it's either some of you guys are traveling or some of you guys are kind of in hermit mode, um, especially with the chariot here. And the one thing that I do want to say about the chariot, which I absolutely love, is that there is a level of confidence here this month that you're going to succeed with whatever you want. And I feel like if things have not been going the way that you wanted them to prior, it's like you're finally taking the reins here and you're taking charge of your own destiny and you're seizing the moment. And there's this sudden change and this transformation. And I feel like it's because there's this momentum that's um, catapulting you forward. And whatever you started, you're finishing. This is set into motion. So whatever you do, don't hesitate. Like you can do this right now. Don't feel overwhelmed. Um, don't feel like you need to find balance. Just wait until you have clarity with the situation. And it's like ground yourself and really ask for assistance right now. But I feel like with the chariot, things are moving forward in a good direction. Like where is this chariot going for Libra right now? What direction is, look, the king of cups. Ew. Hello. Okay, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but you also have Leo. There's heavy Leo um, here. And also, too, uh, Libra, you have the Ace of Cups with the Emperor. Woo, honey, what the heck is going on here? This is a very, very, very good month, okay? We have Aries and Scorpio also. I feel like this is a month where you've played your cards right and now you're going to see whatever efforts that you've put forward, now you're going to see everything come forward. I do feel like there is going to be a lot of love this month. Um, there is going to be a gift of love. There is going to be something here for you and I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of stability, okay? And I feel like you have a lot of faith in the situation. Beautiful. All right. Now we have for your person, it's the star with chaser. Okay, so if this person is at a distance, I feel like you guys are definitely looking at each other. I feel like you're reminiscing. I feel like there's definitely um, a lot of emotions that are tied here. For some of you guys, um, you may have a child with this person. And I'm saying this because we have the six of cups here with the ten of cups. 
you may have a child with this person. Um, you know, there is a lot of love here, but I do think with the star, anytime I see the star, I always know like there was something rocky that came beforehand, right? And I think I said this in the Capricorn reading, um, but anytime I see the star, it's like you're being guided out of a toxic time or out of a time where it's been very challenging and you're being guided to something that's very light, that's very bright, This is that's very unique. I feel like this relationship is a unique one. And Libra, if you're somebody, maybe this person has felt like now they're having to chase you <laughs> or this person is scared that you're going to leave them. Like this person has abandonment, abandonment issues and that can stem from childhood, especially because we have the six of cups here. What do you want me to tell them about their person romantically? What's something you want me to tell them about this person? Um, Page of Swords, you also can be dealing with a Gemini. This person is very intelligent, but they're also very curious. What are they curious about? What's Libra's person curious about here? The Four of Wands. Okay, how would this make Libra feel? Hold on. The High Priestess, like you're like, I already know about it. But then you have the world with the Two of Cups. So I feel like this person is very curious with what, a, what being with you would be like. Like, what does it look like? Um, what does it look like to live together? What does it look like to be out in public as a couple? Um, and I feel like for you, it's like everything that you've done thus far, it's all being complete now. And I think for you, it's doing the right thing and receiving this level of karma back that's positive and that's pertaining to this two of cups. That's pertaining to this amount of love that you both have for one another. Beautiful. And I feel like it's a new start. And I feel like Libra, if things were stuck prior, right? If things became too routine, it's like things are totally changing. And I feel like things are getting interesting again. Okay. How you feel about this person is twin flames with the nine of wands reversed. So this is moon in um, Sagittarius reversed. Here's the thing I really like. One, I think that you see this person for who they are, okay? I think that you really do enjoy this person. I feel like there's a lot of optimism when it comes to them. I feel like if there is space between you, you're tired of the space, you want them to be close to you, it, it's no longer um, keeping them at a distance, I feel like, or them keeping you at a distance, and I feel like you complete one another. The other thing I want to say, too, about this is things are... Um, I feel like your person used to be very like resilient or your person used to really push back a lot. Like, no, that's not what I want. Or, you know, yeah, I don't want this. Or it, it, it's like there was a lot of pushback or a lot of kickback. And now all of a sudden this person is changing and now they're more open to um, having a conversation about where your relationship is going and what this looks like. And it's interesting because that's clarified by the Two of Wands and Judgment. And the Two of Wands, for me, that's Mars and Aries, which we are. However, we're in retrograde right now. So if your person has been somebody prior who's liked to take things very slow, Mars in retrograde has everybody um, reconsidering how they've approached things. And I feel like this person is like, yeah, I don't want to do that. And I think now there is a level of potential, especially for things to really kick off with you guys with that judgment card here. I do feel like that's key or like that's clutch, right? And I think for you, you also understand that with this person, like there is a higher purpose here and there is some type of resurrection with your relationship where it's getting some type of facelift here. And it's almost like a birth of a brand new relationship. So there is a lot of forgiveness here where you're forgiving yourself and you're also forgiving this person. Um, and I feel like somebody is being very clear here with exactly what they want. And there's no longer that cautious energy where I don't know, I don't know, not I don't want this, whatever. It's like now somebody's thinking about their patterns that they've had that have created certain things. So maybe your partner is considering like, hey, I have a pattern of running away. I have a pattern of, you know, um, feeling like I need somebody to chase me to make me feel secure. It's like there's something here where 
somebody is taking responsibility and no longer judging or blaming the other person, but really harnessing this energy that's bringing in something very, very beautiful for the both of you. All right. Now we have the King of Wands here, and that's with, um, this is your current situation, right? So the thing about the King of Wands, and let me tell you something, okay? I love a King of Wands because the King of Wands knows what they want and they go after it. Now, I'm going to say this, um, you know, this is definitely Leo, Aries, or Sag energy, but if you know, the, the card is Leo, right? Um, can you name a Leo where if a Leo knows what they want, it, what, once a Leo makes up their mind with what they want, they don't stop really until they obtain that, right? They keep hunting that, they keep stalking that, they keep hunting it until, you know, they're very persistent until they have what they want. So I feel like somebody is being very direct. Somebody is saying, hey, this is, this is, this is where I see things going with us. It's also talking about how you're going to, um, you know, go above these obstacles, how you're going to get unstuck. How are, how are things going to change, right? The hangman with the four of cups. Because in my head, I'm saying, what obstacles are they overcoming? You're, uh, you're overcoming this kind of uh, lack thereof mentality. And also, too, the hangman here, that's Pisces or Taurus or um, I don't know if it's Aquarius. But with the hangman energy, I feel like it's also a sacrifice that has to be made, right? In order for you guys to kind of rise above the bullshit. Um, so let me ask... What's being sacrificed? What needs to be sacrificed in order for this situation to kind of come full circle? The Two of Cups. It's almost like what about this needs to be sacrificed? The Page of Wands. It's almost like somebody needs to stop feeling so stuck in their head and actually go out there and take and send a message or be enthusiastic with whatever is going on here and changing this energy of blocking or, you know, um, standing their ground and changing that. It's like getting out of that mentality of fight, that like fight or flight, and really just saying, you know what, I'm going to take a chance here with the Wheel of Fortune and see where this goes. Because things are changing slowly but surely they are changing but there is somebody that needs to lower their guard down especially with the seven of wands you know that seven of wands that's mars and leo so that's somebody that um has a very strong will to stay in power right that's somebody that demands a level of loyalty and a level of admiration this is somebody that doesn't want to be embarrassed or humiliated which is why they really keep themselves grounded and kind of away from other people. But I feel like that's changing. That's changing. One, this is a very strong sexual energy. I also want to say that Mars and Leo. But it's changing because I feel like in order for things to progress or in order for things to start going the right direction here, especially with this Wheel of Fortune, you know, you're going to have to lower these um you, you or your person are going to have to lower whatever uh, obstacles you've, you or them have set forth. Okay. How does Libra feel about their current situation with this person? How does Libra feel about their current situation with this person romantically? Temperance. I feel like you're very optimistic. I feel like things are changing. You want expansion. The other thing too with um, temperance is like, that's all about alchemy, right? Where you take the emperor and you take the empress and you strip them of their impurities and you put them together as one. It's kind of like that butterfly effect, right? Where you go from the, from the larva to the beautiful butterfly, but that doesn't come easy, right? And I feel like you guys are in a place where you're coming out of this tough time. You're coming out of that liquefied, um, butterfly state and now you're coming into something very beautiful where you do have this opportunity for a level of reconciliation with your person from the past what's can you what's the best potential outcome for these two romantically what's the best potential outcome for libra and this person romantically okay somebody's going to be moving in somebody may be moving 
Okay, we have the Knight of Wands with, rec with Reconciliation. I'm going to say this. I feel like things are going to be moving very, very quickly once you or your person have finally accepted it. So there is a lot of movement coming in. And I feel like, Libra, it's something that you've been thinking about for a very long time. So if you want to know what kind of movement is coming in, as well as how does your person feel about you romantically? Um, what do they think of your relationship? What do they want from you long term? What are they hiding their next actions, advice and the outcome? Please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. We're also going to go more in depth about what this outcome is as well. For those of you that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys. I appreciate you and I will talk to you soon. Peace.